Hey guys, welcome back to Steffi Talks. Today's video is going to be my August favourites, as you can tell by the title. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hey guys, so let's get into my August favourites. I've got everything in this container right here. I'm just going to dip it in and see what we have. So the first thing is my Max Mac Fix Prep and Prime Fix Plus. This one I usually get in the normal, but they have new scents out, and this is the coconut. Now I did went, I did go in for this originally about a month and a half ago, but they didn't have it in stock. And then um, I went in another time, and they had it in stock, and I'm ready like a quarter down. It smells amazing. It smells like coconut, but it's not overpowering. I would have preferred it if it was that little bit more coconutty, um, but it does the job. It's amazing. Fix Plus is just amazing you just need to have it in your life it sets your makeup it does so many different things it's just a little magic makeup item that you just need to have the next um, is this this is such a gorgeous body cream lotion this is from the Bath and Body Works I got this when we went to Milan last January and this one is in the Hello Beautiful um, range and I think I've got the hand sanitizer as well in this smell. It's amazing, it smells really good. And it's the 24 hour moisture ultra shade body cream. So it's like a body lotion. It's from their signature collection, which it says at the back. Um, it smells amazing. I just smother this all over my skin and I just don't know what it does to me. I just love the scent. So I had to conclude this in my August favorites. Now dipping in, let me just get the big stuff out. These are the MAC um, Gently Off Wipes with the Micellar Water. These are the other big 100 sheets. I'm probably down at least 40, at least 30 to 40 of these already. I really feel like it's like, I wouldn't say, I think it's probably less than 40. I would say at least 30 to 35. Uh, I've been using these nearly every day, obviously sometimes more, I use more than one. Um, they're amazing, I usually get the normal ones, uh, but these ones have, I think they're just wetter, and the fact that they're wetter means that you get more product off, um, it feels nicer on the skin, um, and it does the job, and they're amazing, and they're for sensitive skin as well, so it means that you can, uh, if you have sensitive skin, you can use them, and they're great for around the eyes as well, so kudos to that for MAC, I love them can go wrong without them. Um, next in here is the Body Shop's Hemp Hand Cream. Now this one, I actually got this for my poor Ryan because he has um, hands like a sawdust. They're just literally the driest hands I've ever seen. Um, but I have actually been using this on my feet. I've been having, obviously since it's summer, obviously I'm on my feet more um, rather than wearing socks or anything like that. And my feet are getting dry, I've got cracked uh, and there sometimes can be cracked, blisters and stuff like that. And this has been a lifesaver. I just put it on at night before I sleep, slather it on and it's a life changer. It's amazing and if you have really dry hands, sometimes I get very dry hands, I swap the other body shop hand creams that I have and wear, use this when I tend to have very dry hands and this is amazing so can't live without that as well. Uh, obviously as you can tell I'm gonna love I'm gonna say I love all of these products obviously because they're my oldest favourites. Next is not a stranger on my channel, the Japanese maple um shade, sorry that's the shade, the Body Shop's Matte Clay Skin Clarifying Foundation. This is amazing, especially in the humidity. Um obviously August is not the nicest month in Malta. It's really hot, really humid, and I have to go out in the, the sun and everything would work so I, I need to have a foundation that really stays put and this is what I've been using um, alongside all my other foundation this is amazing this is mattifying it's amazing I can say it's amazing it has tea tree so even with my spots that I tend to have I tend to have spots underneath my skin this really helps them as well because it's got that extra tea tree oil in it which is perfect for anyone who has breakouts and stuff like that Next is something new for me. This is the Wet and Wild palette. This one is called Rose in the Air, and I just really love the colours. I know it's a dupe for some for a, a very popular um, eye, eyeshadow palette, but I can't remember which one it is now. But I love how they give you two transition shades and then all the colours in between. Um, I'm going to be honest, the only reason why I bought them are for these two colours. I'm loving orange and plums. 
So that's really the reason why I did buy it and that's all I've been using on my eyes recently is the transition shade with these two orange and plums. Just love it and it's amazing and I really like how pigmented they are if I show you the colours with one swipe. They're just so pigmented, like even this, this really nice um, highlight shades, they're just so amazing. So that's that one. An oldie but a, good, a goodie. This is the Max Millerized Skin Finish in Dark. Now oh my god, I've had this for so long. But I just decided to use it as um, a bronzer recently and I actually have this one as well as a bronzer lover. Oh my god, sometimes I'm like, why the hell did I stop using this? But it's such an amazing, warm toned um, bronzer, I guess. I know people use it for obviously the setting powder, but obviously it's, it really does a really good job as a bronzer all over. So I haven't been using this um, this month and I've just really, really been loving it. I haven't used it for so long and I regret not using it for so long. So I'm just kind of trying to use it up to get a new one. This is already a hit pan. Um, so it's hit pan just over here. So I'm just using all this up and then I can go out and get another one. So that's really been an amazing um, little find. I just kind of just like the, did like the shop my stash kind of thing. It went to my stash and tried to find things that I haven't used in a while to kind of use up and then if I need, if I want to I repurchase because that's going to be one I'm going to repurchase obviously. Um, oh and then I've got these from Revolution. I've got a couple of things from Revolution which I'm actually just going to go in and talk about. So the first one, these are probably been from the last haul that I did. The first one is the, from the Revolution Pro line. This is the Prime Oil. Um, I've been using this um, at night before I sleep. It's a really lovely oil. Um, I've got a combination um, to oily skin but then it can be dry at times so I still like having oils on my skin. This has been amazing at night and sometimes I tend to use this after I've done my moisturiser even in the morning and just put a little bit of this and let it really sink into my skin before doing primer and then my foundation. This has made such a difference on my skin and it's just making it like plump and firm. Even though it's, I've got combination skin, um, I just feel like this has been made a difference on my skin. So I'm definitely recommending you try it out if you haven't already. Um, and then I have this lip liner um, from the Renaissance line. This is in the shade Vow and it's a really lovely nude colour try and do a little swatch for you there. It's a really nice nudey brown so it's a lovely colour and I just kind of been topping that up with all my other nudes that I love but I've definitely been loving it with Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin. Um, I'm not going to swatch this for you because it's literally dead. I'm trying to slather it on until I actually finish um, but I can see how it's like literally worn out here because even the the actual logo is kind of gone because I use this day in day out and Beauty Bay had a 25% off um, if you spend £100 or a 15% off if you spent £50 so I went ahead and bought another four of these Jeffree Stars lipsticks because they had all the colours I wanted in stock plus another celebrity skin because this is literally dead um, I love this colour, it's amazing, it's just the perfect nude nudie pink and I kind of really wish Jeffree would just would come up with one exactly like this but that little bit pink it will be amazing because it's already pinky but sometimes it goes a bit brownie on me so I just want this into just a little bit more pink because I've got so many of Jeffree Star's lipsticks and I just love them to bits can't go wrong with them all hail to Jeffree Star, I love him. Um, so I have to mention that. Um, and next one is from Revolution. This one's actually finished, so you can tell I've used it all for the whole month of August. It's finished, I need to get another one. This is the Conceal and Define Concealer by Revolution. This is in the C6.5. They had just released the new colours, and I actually picked up the 6.5, and mine is dry. That's how much I love it. It's dry, it's gone, it's finished. Um, I can check this in the bin. It's amazing. I love it. Full coverage. Amazing underneath the eyes. Can't go wrong with that. Next is another Makeup Revolution. You can see it's a little Makeup Revolution. This is their Renaissance Eye Flick Pencil. Eyeliner Pencil. Oh, so easy and it's still black after a month. I've actually got it on my eyes again today. I'm scared that this is going to run out before I get the new one because I'm just going to get another one for sure. And it's amazing. I can't go wrong with this. Definitely repurchase this. It's one of my favourite eyeliners. It's been so easy to, to do an eyeliner with that. And I just can't think of doing something else with it. 
Next is a brush. Now this is the Inglot 6SS. I used to hate this blending brush, but now I love it. It's so perfect for my crease. And then I kind of use the MAC um, 264, is it, or 266? I can't remember now. Um, to really blend in the shadows, but this really packs on the shadows and really does it so precisely on the eye. Amazing. Obviously, I'm gonna end this August favorites with um, a fragrance. This is the Chloe Love Story. Now, I tend to just love the signature Chloe, but Ryan got me the Love Story recently, and it's growing on me. It's growing on me. I like it. As you can tell, I don't just use it as much as the, as the signature Chloe. But this is slowly becoming a favourite, so that's basically why it's in my August favorite because I've been using it all for the month of August because basically the, the Chloe signature is out of stock and I finished it and I don't have any more of it, hence why it's not in this favourites. So I really hope you guys enjoyed my August favourites for today and if you like this video do give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a lovely day wherever in the world and I'll see you very soon. Bye guys.